Uh, so, as uh, you pointed out, uh, my name is Pavan Kumar Sharma, and uh, I'm a student at the University of Cumberland, Kentucky in USA, and uh, I am uh, currently on my final dissertation, while my other co-author, or the first author of this paper, Dr. Uh, Bibu Dash, he has completed his uh, PhD in information technology from the same university, and we together are colleagues at uh, this university. Uh, apart from uh, going to school to complete the PhD and being on my dissertation, I uh, work uh, in California for Walmart as a staff product manager in their last mile delivery division. And in the past, I've worked for Microsoft, Nike, and uh, some other uh, well-known companies. Thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to talk on the impact of uh, digitalization on shaping consumer-centered smart healthcare system. And this would be a comprehensive study that I'd be presenting to you all. So uh, why this topic? As you all might be aware of, uh, the COVID pandemic created a lot of challenges for a lot of organizations all over the world. And one of uh, the most critical uh, sectors that were there were uh, the health analytics uh, or the health sector as such that was crucial in encouraging and empowering the medical staff to deal with things in a very challenging way. And uh, they helped uh, uh, the individuals a lot who were part of uh, the uh, COVID uh, pandemic wave. And they had uh, a very difficult time to uh, actually deal with uh, some of the situations that came uh, to their fore. So the consumer-centered healthcare system that came into being uh, during such time, that, that is something that assisted individuals in caring for their health most conveniently from anywhere. So basically what you do is uh, you are you are trying to give uh, all the facilities or all the assurances uh, to the people who need uh, medical health. And you're trying to find out ways uh, and opportunity for organizations to improve resulting in uh, new customer interaction models and novel techniques to meet these customer requirements and demands uh, in the digital age of healthcare. So in this age, uh, e-health analytics are uh, encouraging and they are helping the traditional healthcare system uh, to be more consumer centric and assisting the individuals to care more about health from any part of the world anywhere. And at the same time, also providing them alternatives throughout the whole range of care, digital, virtual, or in person. So in the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic, medical care is being more consumer centric, wellness oriented, accessible everywhere and digitally connected. So that, that is the introduction that I have for you. Now, what is consumer centered healthcare that I was just talking about? So basically with climate demographic and technological shifts, the modern world deals with several economic, social and environmental concerns. The healthcare puts individual at the core of the healthcare systems to assist and satisfy consumer healthcare demands when uh, we want it and how we want it. And that needs to be fulfilled because life is, a, is of utmost importance to everyone. So the customer centered healthcare refers to a new healthcare system in which the Consumer is at the center of process and driving innovation. Technology, uh, as we all know, has permeated every sector, including healthcare, mainly how we consult, buy drugs, maintain our electronic health records or EHR, handle medical claims and purchase healthcare insurance products. This transition is challenging to manage, yet it delivers more openness and data security, fostering strength, wellness and affordable healthcare. Recent laws allowing providers to adapt to electronic health information sharing, making the healthcare business more exposed to hacking, but simultaneously making healthcare services transparent and efficient for consumers. The consumer centered healthcare, or the CCH as we call it, focuses on four key ideas to successfully engage and manage patients in their new digital environment to better serve the people and research their behavior for future medication or wellness recommendations. The basic concepts are patient empowerment, patient activation, self-management, decision, uh, shared decision making, and adherence and compliance. So all these key criteria are highlighted uh, in the table 
uh, you can see with a uh, detailed explanation being provided. Mm. Moving on to the next slide, I talk about the AI and the rise of uh, telehealth. So the artificial intelligence seeks to assist physicians in making patient diagnostic choices by analyzing and recognizing insights from multimodal patient data. Clinical decision making or CDM as we call it was initially characterized as a constant and dynamic process of gathering information and selecting between two or more possibilities to construct a clinical diagnosis, interventions, interactions and assessments within a context with AI telehealth is increasing in popularity across platforms to aid patients with individual features study anywhere and at any time. So according to Deloitte's latest 2021 forecast, online medical visits will surpass 400 million worldwide by next year. Telehealth will continue to develop as a cornerstone of a solid healthcare plan appropriate for new regular long after the pandemic has passed. Furthermore, healthcare trends will center on patient centricity and consumer driven health programs through the development of healthcare portals, telehealth apps and wearable gadgets technologies expected to play an even larger role in patient involvement. Uh, yep. Moving on to the next slide, we are talking about the Internet of Things and the Internet of Medical Things. So Internet of Things plays a crucial role in the healthcare system uh, by integrating sensors and actuators that are used for patients and the medications for the sicknesses and the illnesses they are being treated about. It also plays a very important role in notifying ambulance services and hospitals that are in there that are needed for the patient during an emergency care. Uh, the other factors uh, that IoT contributes is remote monitoring and communication. Uh, the medical uh, healthcare equipment manufacturers like GE Healthcare, Philips, IBM, Johnson & Johnson are conducting substantial research on IoT. So as you can see, the use of IoT in health, uh, e-health is many uh, ECG sensors, heart rate sensors, motion sensors, temperature accessors. At the same time, this information is being communicated to and from the healthcare centers or providers uh, and from the patients with the help of internet and cloud, wherein uh, it, uh, it goes to n number of uh, people who are involved in the overall process of providing healthcare and wellness uh, to the patients. Talking about uh, cyber healthcare is, so what happens is due to Excessive digitalization concerns about cyber security of healthcare data and medical devices are growing nowadays. Identity theft via data breach is the most common cyber criminal activity in healthcare. Vulnerability management uh, is the feature of uh, artificial intelligence machines that organizations may have in their system. Now, according to a research, about 20,362 uh, vulnerabilities in the healthcare businesses were disclosed globally only in 2019 and this number is ever growing more uh, common cyber attacks in e healthcare are internal threats external threats cyber squatting and cyber terrorism cyber security in this industry is especially vital given the criticality of healthcare systems and the consequences of a breach or hack while technology design is essential for cyber security it is also necessary to identify the widespread insecure behaviors and anomalies in healthcare. So we're talking about the 5G and the uprising of mobile health. Uh, basically, with the advancement of 5G technology, mobile health or M health, as it is popularly known all and uh, known as, is on the upswing. The explosion in computer power and mobile communication has laid the groundwork for mobile health or M health, as it is known as, technologies that have the potential to change the manner and quality of clinical research and health treatment on a global scale. Nowadays, smartphone connected variable sensors, point of need diagnostic devices, and medical grade imaging all designed around real time data streams and backed by automated clinical decision support systems or uh, DESS will enable treatment and improve our knowledge of psychological variability. With the advancement of nanotechnologies and the global penetration of smartphones, M health technologies have the potential to re-engineer practically every aspect of healthcare 
while also significantly improving our understanding of human psychology, uh, physiology in health and illness. So financial experts believe that the market for ML technology would increase at a pace of approximately 55% per year from 1.5 billion globally in 2012 to 21.5 billion USD dollars by 2025. That's the estimation. However, there is still a long way to go for M Health. Several recent meta analysis and systematic reviews find that high quality evidence of using M Health to impact behavioral changes or manage chronic illnesses, inpatient treatment, or healthcare delivery is weak. So we still need to uh, actually think about uh, those things and see what can be done so that we uh, improve the systems. Now talking about digitalized social support in e-health. So what is the uh, uh, digitalized social support? What do you mean by it? Basically, if you look at healthcare, it's an emotional service and so social support is critical to digitalization success in all healthcare areas. Whether we look at Amazon, Uber, or Airbnb, these disruptive technological innovations succeed today thanks to widespread societal acceptance and change. As a corollary, e-healthcare also requires significant societal support to be a successful initiative. Digitalization is bringing numerous changes to the healthcare business, but it primarily concentrates on four critical characteristics from which customers will profit directly and indirectly. These elements are as follows. Of course, the personalized healthcare, affordable healthcare, integrated healthcare, and seeking a good experience along the process of healing. What are the recommendations and future work? So recommendations and future work would uh, I'd suggest is technology is continuously developing to tackle human issues. And this research article and the research that we have uh, brought uh, has previously shown how the healthcare field evolved from a traditional paradigm to e-health and m-health to serve people from home. However, many more flaws in this business were uncovered during the epidemic. Securing patient data, linking ambulance drivers to patient, automating hospital procurement, real-time updating of hospital bed management, putting up oxygen plants near hospitals, and many more instances show where we failed or were less connected with technology. As a result, this paper will serve as a foundational example of how to incorporate technology into every aspect of hospital infrastructure, not just for security, but also to improve client experience. The study gives scholars and data scientists more opportunities to find the loopholes in healthcare and how to make it more consumer centered using electronics, AI interactions, availing the benefits of 5G, cloud and artificial intelligence. The article that we have written also calls for more deep research into the benefits and drawbacks of digitalized healthcare and how it will affect the future. Moving on to the conclusion slide. So uh, the world has grown rapidly and it is connected and it's entirely reliant on smart healthcare briefly. The findings of our study have two consequences. On the one hand, it emphasizes understanding smart healthcare literature. On the other hand, it utilizes the gaps and challenges that the healthcare business will confront due to widespread digitalization in all aspects of healthcare. Different significant uh, advances in health innovation for global benefit health disparities will remain an exceedingly relevant subject for healthcare practitioners in the following years due to various government red tape worldwide. Unfortunately, inequality persists throughout our healthcare system worldwide, no matter where, or where you go in the world. And the pandemic had only worsened numerous long-standing gaps between multiple, multiple uh, populations. Moving forward, we predict that the healthcare industry will continue to interact with other sectors to benefit from digitalization Notable technical developments that have made in recent decades and have been employed to solve health-related challenges in the healthcare industry. Our smartphones, tablets, and laptops have now have medical remedies at the touch of a button. AI, IoT, and blockchain technologies have fundamentally altered the medical profession by utilizing intelligent sensors, cloud technology, and communication technologies. The study's findings should benefit medical practitioners students and academics interested in intelligent healthcare. Uh, summary, uh, of course, uh, the pandemics like COVID-19 give us an opportunity uh, to actually look at things and 
rapidly do digitalization of healthcare challenges. Four key ideas that uh, are able to engage and manage patients are patient empowerment, patient activations, self-management, uh, shared decision-making, adherence and compliance. The use of AI and IoT plays a very crucial role in integrating sensors and actuators and the use of cloud uh, technology actually helps us to disseminate that information across the board so that information is readily available. Cyber security would be an impact, uh, important uh, impacting factor that we need to look at currently and in the future, because as we use more uh, uh, technology in healthcare, there's also a, a threat that is looming about cyber attacks and uh, uh, someone hacking into uh, some, some of the systems that is being used and that is connected across the board so as to communicate and share information. And finally, analyzing how the influence of social support uh, kind of helps and sources on the well-being and happiness of a digitalized healthcare setting and an ecosystem. Uh, these are my references that I had used uh, in order to uh, prepare and present the paper. And I'd be happy to uh, uh, ask, answer any questions that uh, you might have. And thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to present.